I have this hard hitting stage play I would like to pitch to you, title, Scott Variations. The play is about Hazel Scott becoming the first black person to have their own television program, years before the Net King Cole show. Born in Trinidad, Hazel was an internationally known, jazz and classical pianist and singer, who at age of eight study at the Juilliard School she was recognized early as a musical prodigy. She began performing in a jazz band in her teens and was performing on radio at age 16. In addition to Lena Horne, Scott was one of the first black women to garner respectable roles in major Hollywood pictures. She performed as herself with a reputation as jazzing up the classical in several features such as, Something to Shout About, I Dude It, The Heat's On, Broadway Rhythm, Rhapsody in Blue and The Night Affair. When The Hazel Scott Show premiered on the Dumont Television Network on July 3, 1950, Variety magazine reported that Hazel Scott has a neat little show in this modest package, its most engaging element being Scott herself. With the advent of the Red Scare in the television industry, Scott's name appeared in Red Channels, a report on communist influence in radio and television in June 1950. Scott voluntarily appeared before the House Un-American Activities Committee. Scott insisted on reading a prepared statement before Un-American Activities Committee. She denied that she was ever knowingly connected with the Communist Party or any of its front organizations, but said that she had supported Benjamin J. Davis' run for city council, arguing that Davis was supported by socialists, a group that has hated communists longer and more fiercely than any other. Her television variety program, The Hazel Scott Show, was cancelled a week after Scott appeared before Un-American Activities Committee. Scott continued to perform in the United States and Europe, even getting sporadic bookings on television variety shows like, Cavalcade of Stars, and guest starring in an episode of CBS television show, Faye Emerson's Wonderful Town musical series. Scott's short-lived television show provided a glimmer of hope for African-American viewers during a time of continued racism in the broadcasting industry and economic hardships for jazz musicians in general. Hazel Scott remained publicly opposed to McCarthyism and racial segregation throughout her life. Her career was like music variations, a formal technique where material is repeated in an altered form. The changes may involve melody, rhythm, harmony, counterpoint, timbre, orchestration, or any combination of these. <laughs>